Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Kylie and today I'm having tteokbokki with the fried seaweed on the side. So grab your spoons, grab your forks, or grab your chopsticks and let's eat together. So I put sprouts, glass noodles, spam, fish balls, ramen, and rice cakes in here. Mm, I've been craving this, it smells so good. Mm. Mm. Super delicious. Mm. I'm gonna grab a little bowl. So the other day when I was cooking with my sister, I broke my favorite chopsticks when I was making black bean noodles. I was so, it was so upsetting. So today I wanna talk about just some of my memories that I remember from elementary school. Because right now my daughter is in kindergarten, or was in kindergarten. I don't know if she's gonna go back. Um, and I hope she's making cute little memories that she'll remember later on in life. So, when I was in elementary school, we lived, I would say, four blocks from my elementary school. And there was also like a little convenience store, maybe three blocks the other way. And it was called, it was called the Mini Mart. And at that time, it was still somewhat safe enough in that area, neighborhood, for me to walk home, walk to and from school alone, and walk to and from the convenience store alone. And I remember every single day, my mom worked during the day. So when I would get home from school, she wouldn't be home from work yet, but in the morning, she would leave like $2 for me every single day. And by every single day, I mean every day during the week. And after school, I would either walk or ride my bike to the mini mart. And buy hot Cheetos. And at that time they had little 99 cent bags. And there's no tax on food, so it would just be 99 cents. And they had slushies there too. And my favorite slushy flavor is blue raspberry or watermelon. Mm. So every day after school, I would go home, drop my backpack off, do a little bit of homework, and then walk down to the Minimart. Mini Mart, and me 
meet my friend there. We each would get a bag of hot Cheetos. And a Slurpee or a slushy and go and hang out on the playground at school and eat our hot Cheetos and drink our slushy. And we did that almost every day. And it's so funny for me to think back on because Her and I kind of had a falling out and I don't know why or when or how or I, I guess I just don't remember but we didn't really hang out that much after elementary school or middle school I mean I didn't hang out with her at all in high school so Kind of kind of sad to think about that we had so much fun when we were in elementary school but then and that was like a distinct memory I had with her but then we never really hung out in high school just kind of weird I guess we just navigated towards different kinds of people, different different groups, I guess, of people in high school to hang out with, which that happens and it's okay. I just wish I still talked to her because that would be a cute little memory that we could share with each other. I mean, I think we're cordial. I could probably send her a Facebook message and have her, excuse me, smile about that memory because I know it was probably a good memory for her too. I guess we would just sit on the jungle gym, eat our hot Cheetos, drink our slushy, and just kind of talk about life. Life was so simple and non-complicated when you're that young. You just think about, you don't really have any worries and when you have a good family and stuff, you don't have to worry about anything really, I guess. That was a good memory I had. Mm. I love these things, especially when they're super crisp. Crispy. Another memory I have with her. Oh my gosh. So, I don't know who else we were with. But, I do remember it was three of us. We must have, it was me and her, and then we must have seen them our friend or a classmate in the in the playground of the school well I can't remember yeah it was like after school so everybody had already gone home and we just were bored I guess and decided to there was like a fence that was right next to the building that like closed off the playground to the school and it sat right next to it like went right up to the school and for some reason it was like super easy to climb so we decided to climb it and get on the roof of the school I mean it was sweet it was cool it was a good view we were just kind of hanging out, running around the whole school. I mean, it wasn't that big. But at the time, we thought it was big. 
So we're walking around the roof, hanging out. And then we finally decide, okay, we're done. Let's just get down and go get some food or something. As we're climbing down the fence, there's a teacher waiting for us at the bottom. And she was like, oh my gosh, we heard all these thumps on the ceiling and didn't know what it was. And she was like, how did you guys get up there? And we were like, the fence? It was like a wire fence. We were like, the fence was super easy to climb. And she was like, you can never do that ever again. That is so dangerous. And she was super mad at us. But she was like, I'm not going to tell anyone as long as you promise me you'll never do it again. And we were so scared. I was like, I promise. And she let us go. I didn't even know her. But wow. It could have been bad for us. <laughs> It's just funny to think about the dumb things that you did as a kid. I have to keep that in mind for when my kids do dumb things. Oh, another story I remember is, is throughout elementary school, I got perfect attendance every single year because my dad has crazy work ethic and he just wanted to teach that to me. And really just instilled like being on time is so, so important. Like when I was younger and we would have doctor's appointments, my dad would make us go an hour early. It was such a waste of time because as you guys know, doctor's offices are late anyways. They're always running behind. They don't call you on time anyway. So it was like annoying. We'd be there like pretty much all day. <laughs> um. So, I remember one day in third grade, I didn't get sick very often, but this particular time I remember, I wasn't feeling good, and I told my dad, and I'm not sure if he just didn't realize that I wasn't feeling that well, because I wasn't, I mean, I guess I looked the same. Cause like I would get myself ready in the morning and I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't start to feel like crap until I actually got to school, but I was like, I just don't feel good. And he was like, no, you'll be fine. And still sent me to school. But after I ate breakfast, I didn't really eat a lot. So he was like, you're going to be hungry. I'll just let you have like a popsicle so you stay hydrated. Well, he gave me a popsicle and I ate it on the way to school. When I got to school, you kind of, they make you hang out in the playground before the bell rings to go in. And I remember going by the swing set and feeling like my stomach just bubbling up and just not being able to control anything. And it, I just threw up. And I remember the popsicle was red. And everything I threw up was just red liquid. And I remember thinking like, oh, I just want to go home. I feel like crap. But I just chugged along, kept going. 
I felt okay during the day, but up until after lunch. So I ate lunch and then I was like, oh, I think I might be able to keep stuff down. So we get back in class after lunch and I start to feel lightheaded and just ugh, a weird feeling and I start to feel the food come up like my throat. So I run to the back and at the time they had like, my teacher had like a, I don't know, like a little wood removable wall and that covered the sink in the back. So no one saw and I was like so shy when I was younger. So like I never really made a big scene or a lot of noise. Uh, I just ran back there and just threw up all in the sink. And I remember I had watermelon for lunch and chunks of watermelon was in the sink. <laughs> and I was just so discreet about it that nobody knew. Not even my teacher. So when I went home that afternoon, I made it through the day, thank God. And I was just like crying to my mom because you know, my dad worked in the evening so he was like sleeping when I got home from school I was like crying to my mom like I didn't feel good and my dad still made me go to school and but sure enough at the end of the year I got perfect attendance <laughs> but that's one distinct memory I remember of my dad making me go to school and I was so sick and nauseous and Throwing up like that could have been bad. I'm glad I didn't get any other kids sick. I mean, that's terrible. It's kind of sad now that like you have to be extra super careful about children and when they get sick not to send them to school and to not let them play with other children so that it doesn't spread because my kids got hand foot and mouth back in October November and that was just absolute hell I just would never wish that on anybody. I love these thick glass noodles. Mm. They're so fun to eat, but they take forever to soften up.
One more. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed my stories. It's funny to think about stuff from when you were younger and when you're in elementary school just because it was so far back. But whenever I look back and those memories stand out to me, it's just, it, it makes me realize I had a good childhood. So I hope to create that for my kids. And I hope someday they can tell me those stories or memories that they remember and we can laugh at it especially during a time like this but anyway i hope everybody's staying safe and healthy and most importantly entertained and productive um please hit that like button for me if you liked this video i'd really appreciate it and tune in for the next video by clicking that subscribe button and that notification bell and until next time i'll see you later